Hello everyone, today we will have a popular method, neural networks. Last time we have seen support vector machines starting from support vector classifiers. Neural networks have a broad literature and are one of the most popular machine learning methods in practice. So far we have covered quite a number of machine learning models including support vector machines and random forest which is a well-used method in machine learning literature. We learned the theory behind the methods and also their work in practice. You can see those videos using the link above. Let us start. In 1943, Warren McCullough and Walter Pitts introduced neurological networks model in their work. Their models are based on neurons. The authors showed that even simple networks of this kind are able to calculate nearly any logic or arithmetic function. Through the influence of John Hopfield and the well-known algorithm of backpropagation, the field of neural networks slowly showed signs of upswing. After late 1980s, neural networks rose to fame. From 1980s to 2010, the area attracted the moderate interest. However, together with the increased computational power, the attempts on new architectures and filtering methods, the area is reshaped with a brand new name, deep learning. The applications of neural networks are limitless, however, we will point out some of them. First application area is about financial world. As you probably hear that predicting the values of stocks and bonds are highly yielding operations for the analysts, there are lots of architectures that are used for stock market predictions. Second one is about the healthcare industry. One of the specific examples that neural networks are used is tumor detections from XA images. Nowadays, all big tech companies are working on object recognition on either images or videos. It requires a lot of computation power as these images are generally high quality files. Animal recognition or facial recognition is one of the most known applications of advanced architectures of neural networks. Lastly, recommendation systems are highly relying on neural network types of structures as they are very successful on getting to know the customers well. E-commerce companies are following the predictions of such models when they are communicating with their clients. Let us have a look at the terminology that is specialized for neural networks. We have a bunch of different things. The main thing in the architecture is the nodes. A node combines input from the data with a set of coefficients of weights that either amplify or dampen that input thereby assigning significance to inputs about the task the algorithm is trying to learn. We can interpret this like, which input is most helpful when classifying the data without error? These nodes are constructing the layers. First, we have input layer where we use our training data. Second, we have hidden layers and also remember that the number of hidden layers can be determined by the user. Also, the number of nodes in these hidden layers is also determined by the user. Lastly, we have the output layer where the model outputs its prediction. In addition to nodes and layers, we have the links in between nodes. These links have weights that are used in prediction tasks. Let us focus on the simplest case where the architecture has only one hidden layer. This means that we have three layers in total, input, hidden and an output layer. We assume that our training data has p features, meaning that the input layer has p many nodes. The model builds a nonlinear function fx to predict the response in our data y. If we assume that our data has four features and the number of hidden nodes are three, we have the following structure. We have four input nodes and three hidden nodes in the hidden layer. Since we have a regression task, our output should be an output with a one node. We have beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3 for the links between hidden layer and output layer. For the links between input and hidden layers, we have weights wij for each arc. Let us go from output to the input layer. The model calculates fx as beta 0 plus beta k times ak summed over k. According to the model, each ak is calculated as wk0 plus wkj 
times xj summed over j's. Note that we have a nonlinear activation function g that is specified beforehand. Before finishing this video, we can list the possible activation functions that are commonly used in neural network literature. Sigmoid activation function was favored by the early instances of neural networks. The sigmoid activation function is defined as e to the power z divided by 1 plus e to the power z, which is the same function used in logistic regression to convert a linear function into probabilities between 0 and 1. Recently, rectified linear unit, or ReLU in short, activation function is preferred in the literature. It is shown as the projection onto the positive region. A ReLU activation function can be computed and stored much more efficiently than a sigmoid activation function. Today, we have introduced single layer neural networks and we show its architecture and introduce the use of different activation functions. We would like to hear what you think about our content. Thank you for watching our videos. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you're really helping us to grow. You can always ask questions by leaving a comment below and we will be happy to answer it. In our next video, we will cover multi-layer neural networks together with backpropagation algorithm. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.